Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. Uh, in this video, we are going to continue talking about the child process module, uh, which is the module in Node.js that allows you uh, uh, to create child processes in your Node program. Uh, but today we will focus on the exact function, which is uh, somewhat similar to the spawn function we looked at in the previous video. And uh, oh, as well it allows you to create uh, child processes okay and as you can see here what it will take as arguments is a command that's a string uh, optionally it will have uh, some options uh, that's an options object and uh, a callback uh, which is a function uh, to have it done you know to have some function uh, get fired after the child process ex exists Okay, so let's go ahead here and do the simplest thing we can do with uh, the exact function. Let's just uh, create a child process, uh, just passing in one of these uh, 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 one of these strings here for a command. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's create a child. Okay, what we want to do is cp dot exact. Okay, so that's going to execute the command that we provide. That is the command. We want to pro progs that, let's say, remove. Okay, remove. Okay, so what do I want to remove? Now, unlike the spawn function where you have an array that you can provide for as, you know, that will contain you know, things like flags and arguments, for the command that you provide. Here you simply have to provide a string uh, as a command. So the whole string will contain all these arguments and flags. So, you know, all you're gonna do here is just provide these uh, as a concatenation here. All right, so I want to remove a folder. Let me uh, put in uh, this flag here, which will tell the uh, remove program to go recursively inside that uh, folder and the folder I want to remove is CSS it's got nothing in it but uh, uh, it should work so let's go ahead and just run this okay so what uh, this will do here actually no nope. okay node exec.js that is our file so let's run this the expectation here is that that CSS function will be removed that CSS uh, 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 not function but uh, directory and as you can see it did remove it all right so as you this is uh, this is even simpler than using the, the the spawn function all right so what are some additional things we can do here we can uh, have it uh, have a callback uh, uh, being called here uh, for this uh, child creation. All right, so when you create a callback uh, for these functions, what will be passed in are three arguments. One of them is an error. Okay, that's an error object. Okay, the second one, it will be a buffer. Uh, that buffer will contain, that buffer will contain uh, whatever data uh, that was uh, printed to the, you know, that was uh, piped uh, to the standard output stream by the child process. And uh, the standard error buffer Okay, which will contain whatever data was uh, printed to the uh, standard error stream uh, for that child. Okay, so now it gives us access to all of them. So let's go ahead and do something here. Now let's check for an error. Okay, if there is an error. Okay, I want to do something. All right, and if there is no error, I want to do something else. Okay, if there's an error, I'm just gonna print uh, something. Okay, console log. Okay, 
let's do some interpolation. Okay, we're not, because this error object, you know, this error is an error object, we can get some, some stuff from it. So let's get the name, which will usually be error. So let's just get that. So error. In and then let's get the message. Error that message. And then let's get the stack trace. Alright, so we will get all this information when an error occurs, but when there is no error, I want to just log the buffer. Uh, that's the std out, the buffer for the, that, that's coming from, actually I want to log this please. Okay, so now since we don't have a CSS folder in here anymore, let's run this. What we expect is an error. All right, so let's see what we're getting for that error. Okay, we get the name, it's an error. We get the message, it says comment failed, rm dash r CSS, CSS no such file or directory, which is what we expect. And then here we're getting a stack trace. All right, so let's go ahead and change this to something that exists. Public. Okay, now this is that directory right here. It's got nothing in it, but uh, we can remove it as well. So you can see now here it's being removed. All right, so this is, uh, you know, using it to remove something in a directory. Uh, let's go ahead and play around with the list function as well as we did in the spawn uh, uh, in the spawn uh, video that we did so let's go ahead and create a child here it's going to be cp that exact okay let's provide a command this is progs dot list okay uh, what do I want to list? I want to list whatever is in the previous directory. Okay. Now what I could have done is provide options instead. Okay. Option C W D. Okay. We could provide that directory here instead. Okay. So we can remove this right here. And we don't actually have to provide a callback for now, so let's go ahead and run this and see what we got. We got nothing. That's because of the callback issue again. So, you know, let's just go ahead and not uh, copy ourselves. Let's just put this in here. Error. STD out. Okay. Okay, copy that in. Let's remove these. All right, so we can go ahead and run this and see what we'll get. All right, so we will get all the files that are in that. Uh, directory that we provide. All right, what else uh, can we do here? We can try and provide something that doesn't exist, uh, but bub. All right, and then here again, we'll get our stack trace, name of the error, and the message that was uh, in this error right here. All right, so this is the video, guys. We looked at how we can 
uh, right uh, um, uh, create child processes using the exec function uh, we've also done this with the spawn function but uh, with the exec function there's a you know a slightly different ways of doing essentially the same thing there is uh, there is there is a difference because the exec function I, I believe is starting a shell and then within that shell run this command uh, that's not what the spawn function is doing so that's a, a little difference there another difference is that in the spawn function you can provide an array of uh, flags and arguments essentially an array of strings which would contain these flags and arguments uh, in order uh, but here you don't have that so the string that you provide as command should contain all these things except for the directory sometimes because you can provide it in the options uh, argument okay and in this function uh, you can provide a callback which is a difference uh, from the spawn function and that callback will get an error object uh, with uh, a buffer uh, containing the the stuff that the child printed to the std out stream and uh, a buffer for the stuff that the child would print to std error stream and this is uh, how you use the exact function to create child processes all right so this is the video guys uh, please uh, subscribe uh, to this channel if you'd like to see more of these videos and go ahead and like uh, the videos if they are helping you all right, I'll see you next time. I got plenty more videos coming about the child process and uh, anything else about Node. All right, I'll see you next time.